Go. Ready? Hi. Uh, this is Anton Fukori to talk to you about the wrist block. Uh, uh, we, uh, with the wrist block, we want to uh, inject the two major nerves of the wrist, uh, mainly the median nerve and ulnar nerve. The median nerve is this, uh, best uh, uh, marked by the ulnar border of the radial uh, of the uh, ring finger. And uh, the ulnar nerve is adjacent to the pisiform. Uh, you may recall that there's what's called ant, uh, artery, nerve, tendon. Uh, so we're going to uh, do the wrist block by first uh, getting the median nerve. You can go from the radial ulnar side. I prefer the ulnar side because there's a small nerve here that you can potentially inject uh, uh, or injure the palmar branch of the median nerve. So uh, just uh, immediately adjacent uh, to the uh, nerve uh, between the proximal and uh, uh, distal uh, wrist crease and you'll feel a pop that's the transcarpal ligament and inject about uh, five to seven cc's. Uh, the ulnar nerve is uh, adjacent to that. Here's the pisiform. I can feel that and uh, that's uh, also where the flexor carpi ulnaris is and here's the ulnar nerve and it's more superficial. And then uh, we want to uh, inject the uh, peripheral nerve branches, uh, namely the uh, palmar branch of the median nerve as you make a wheel, the superficial radial nerve, continuing on circumferentially to the dorsal branch of the ulnar nerve. And that's your complete wrist block.